hey, do you know anything about graphing and plotting um, plots and putting plots on a graph? Do you? I bet you do. Right now, we're going to do a little review because eventually, later on, you're going to have to use it for a lot of different things like comparing trends and like just doing a whole lot of different math work. So let me start off with a very basic concept, the X and Y graph, the X and Y plot, okay? You start off with X line, horizontal and vertical, like this. You got that? X and Y axis. There you go. Now, I'm using a number line of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to make it a little easier for us to fit in the numbers I want to fit in, okay? So, using that, let's go ahead and plot the points. Let's say the following is my points to plot. X and Y. X, let's say X is going to be the number of hours I'm doing a chore. Nah, X isn't going to be the number of hours I'm doing a chore because that's kind of boring, isn't it? How about X will be the number of hours it takes for us to count five bushels of dirt? No, you don't like that either? Well, that's too bad. I'm making this up as I go. Two hours to count five bushels of dirt. Yeah. All right? I know you do it all the time, so let's go with it. Well, what if I'm doing it, say, five hours? And I would get 10 bush bushels of dirt. How about eight hours? Let's try 15 bushels of dirt. And then there's 10 hours, 20 bushels of dirt. And then there's 15 hours. 25 bushels. You're saying, man, that's a lot of dirt. That's right, it is. But it'll get your muscles going and make you feel strong. Now, ladies, you can watch the guys do it. Uh-oh, don't yell at me. I can tell you're throwing stuff at me right now. Anyway, let's look at how we plot this, okay? You can, ladies, if you want to do it, go for it. I don't care. I'm just being a difficult guy right now. I'm making, I'm making a little fun okay having a little fun all right here we go so what do we do we got to find a way to plot this now the way you plot it is by going ahead and writing down the numbers on the graph we got 5 and 15 so 5 says pardon me you got 5 and 15 you start with but you've got 2 is x and 5 is y so 2 is x and 5 is y. So my first dot that I'm going to plot right here is that dot right there. That's for 2 and 5. Okay? 2 and 5. That's right there. x and y. 2 and 5. Then I have x is 5 and y is 10. Where do I put that? Well, let's look at the 5. And we've got 10 right here. So 5 and 10. Right there. See what I did? I have the 5 right here. The 5 right here. And I got the 10 right there. 5, 10. That's where you got 2. You got 5 and 10. You put the dot right there. 5 and 10. Now, you go to X and Y being 8 and 15. We put it right here. A is right here. 15 is right here. You see, I'm doing this on the side, and you're like guessing, what are you doing? Just be patient. Watch what I did. I went to the graph again. I went right here. Right here, right about there. There. That's where 8 is. I looked up right up here, and I found 15. 8 and 15. That is where I put the dot. I did the same thing for these other things right here. The 2 and 5, the 5 and 10. Well, I'm doing this for the 10, for the 8 and 15, okay? Are you there yet? We're getting there. All right, let's try the next one. 10 hours for ladies or guys to heavy lift up those 20 bushels, okay? Getting your, your, getting your arms are getting strong. Either you're getting stronger or you're getting so tired you're fed up with this. Anyway. Stick along with me. 
You got 10, X, X is 10, and Y is 20. So let's look here. 10 here, and Y is 20. All right? Look what I got here. I did another X is 10 and Y is 20. See what I did? X is 10, Y is 20. And there I put the dot. I found the 10, I found the 20, I put the dot right there. Are you catching on yet? You're saying, man, I learned this when I was in kindergarten. Good. It's a good review for you. All right. What about 15 and 25? Let's go to 15. 15 is right here, and 25 is right here. 15 and 25. A little high, but that's okay. 15 and 25. You got 15 right in here. And I got 25 right in here. A little high, but it's okay. And there's your dot there. 15 and 25. All right? Now, what do I got? I got, I done this. I managed to draw a nice little line. Now, what does that line tell me? What well, line tells me that the more I do, more hours I spend, the more I get done, but it does tend to slack off a little bit. I guess after so many hours of trying to put all those bags of uh, uh, dirt together, you do get a little tired. You're saying, not only would I get tired, I would be falling over, crashing, and probably sleeping the rest of the time. Well, truthfully speaking, you probably wouldn't even be doing it for an hour. I'm just using this as an example. It could be. Two hours to get five toothpicks. I don't know. The point is, you're trying to learn how to graph the numbers. So you can learn how to look on the X and Y graph, that graph, to see where the points are, where you plotted them, to find, okay, what is the trend? Where am I going? With this, you saw a trend. How it's going. And you know what? You can do that for almost anything. And that is the fun part of graphing. I told you it's fun. You don't agree with me? Oh, yes, you do. You're just giving me a hard time. Well, you know what? Your teacher is going to be here now with some even better answers. Later.